Hi everyone, this is Connie's Creative Creations and I am Connie. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button that will help my channel grow as well as the notification bell and give me a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment if you would like. I'm taking part in the Power Up collab today and I'll have some more information in just a moment. But let's get right into this project. Okay, I was asked if I would make some shelves for the, my bathroom upstairs. So I decided, well, I'm going to use reclaimed wood. So as you can see, I am struggling with this uh, pallet. I'm just going to use pallet wood. So I'm using a crowbar and a hammer to pull off these slats. And I'm able to get quite a few of them off. And then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna use my circular saw and cut them. So in just a moment, you'll see that I've got all the wood already cut and that's what I did. So they're not easy to get off. And I know there's easier ways, but this is the only way I have right now. So I'm not using a power tool yet, but right now I'm just using the crowbar and the hammer. Okay, so now I am done with trying to get them all off and I put my safety gloves on, or my glasses on, and I'm using my circular saw. I do some of them um, going, well, it's standing up, the pallet standing up, because this is a big pallet, but I only do a couple of those and then I lay the um, pallet down and I don't know if I recorded it, and I end up cutting these pallets, or one pallet completely apart, and one almost completely apart. So I just do the end end, and then I'm able to pry the piece of wood off of the center so that I could get the enough wood to make this set of shelves. Now these shelves are um, an L shape, so that I it fits in the corner of the, my bathroom upstairs so as you can see I am just cutting these slats off now I've put myself in a little bit of a fast mode and you can see I'm getting these all off and then I kind of disappear and come back and I've got them all cut and that's what I'm doing cutting the pallets completely up then I'm at my workbench you can see I have got them all stacked up there and I've measured and make made uh, cut lines and I am cutting them all and I'm sorry about the Kind Master logo is right where my circular saw was sitting. I'm sorry, I should have adjusted my camera just a tiny bit. So I'm just making sure I made the plan on how to do this, a little shape, size, took my measurements so I what I ended up doing is is the pieces of wood was not wide enough for the shelves that I wanted to make so I ended up using um, taking cut some pieces of wood and I end up ripping them on my table saw I'm gonna watch that I'm gonna let you see that in a minute what I do what it is is you put your guard up and then you run your wood um, against the guard and the um, blade cuts through longwise on the piece of wood and that's called ripping a piece of wood. If, I've said it before and I never didn't know if I explained it. And this is my miter saw and I was cutting straight cuts. I'm not doing no uh, miters, bevels, slants, none of that. So I'm just getting them all and I use my little um, um, triangle uh, to make sure that they are cut straight and I'm sorry that thing on my neck I was just tightening it it was 99 degrees in my or over 100 degrees in my garage that day so that thing is wet and it keeps my neck keeps me cool and it keeps slipping and so you'll see me over and over again uh, tighten it but that's what it was so I'm just like I said I'm just getting all these wood completely all cut so I can start getting putting them together. Now that I've got them all together, 
I brought them over to my table saw. I'm bringing the blade up and what you do is you put your wood next to the blade um, to make sure that the blade is above your wood and now I'm setting my guard and then making sure and I'm just pushing it straight through using my little pushers and I'm just trimming rip what's trimming or ripping the wood to get it the exact um, size I want it plus because I'm adding two pieces of wood together you want to do this so you can join it together and get a good bond between the two pieces of wood like I'm showing you right there so I'm checking it and making sure that it's exactly what I wanted and I just keep going back and forth until I get it all um, the right uh, you know links so that it will fit together and then I'll show you how I hooked them together Now I am just getting the right pieces of wood with each other, fitting it, making sure it's the right length. And so I'm just checking that and I'm setting each one aside once I make sure that I've got it. And this wood, if you've ever worked with um, pallet wood, it's not perfect wood. It's reclaimed wood, which means it has divots, it has nail holes, screws, some of the wood has like splintered off or um, the nail tore a hole bigger than a nail hole when you pulled it off. So I'm going to have to fix that, all of those, and I'll show you very shortly how I do that. But right now I'm still just working on those pieces of wood to make sure that I have enough to make all the shelves because all the shelves are going to be L shapes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And apparently it looks like I <laughs> didn't show you how I did it. So I used wood glue and because wood glue is stronger. Now there is no screws, no uh, biscuits, no nails or anything holding these pieces of wood together. So what I did was I spread the um, wood glue down each side, I put them together, and I clamped them. Now, I clamped them sideways, lengthways, and from top to bottom. So that it was holding it with a really good bond. Now, when wood glue dries between bare wood to bare wood, it's on the molecular level, it is stronger than the wood. If you try to pull it apart, you're going to break your wood before you break that bond. And that's what wood glue is all about. Um, it's not the same if you use Elmer's. It's not the same if you use uh, of all these other different kinds like E6000. Any of those glues, none of them get the bond that I am, I am aware of like wood glue. There might be some, but I'm not aware of it. Okay, so now I am sanding all of these because they're rough. It's pallet wood and they're rough. But I do get them sanded down to a perfectly smooth surface. Now I end up not 
uh, staining. I did not seal this wood. Um, this bathroom does not have a tub or a shower, so it is not a wet bathroom. It doesn't need to be. The wood's not going to swell up at all. So as you can see, I now I have those extra holes. Now, the best way to make putty is you use your fine sawdust. I'm pouring some out onto the plastic, and I use a, a stick, and I pour some um, wood glue into it and I mix it up until it becomes a consistency of a putty. Then you can you put it in your um, holes. Guess what? It ends up being almost the exact same color as your wood because it's made out of the wood shavings. And as long as you work at it and make sure there's none like up on the edge, you don't have a whole lot of sanding to do either. So I am just making this putty. You can literally pick it up, push it into your holes, use a, a putty knife and level it off. It doesn't divot down or swell up. It works perfectly, even though it's wood shavings. But the wood shavings are so fine that it's not gonna swell. And so you don't have that issue. And you can see I'm just working that into um, the holes and I get them all done. And then it doesn't take very long to dry. I'm not sure if I do it on this day or I come back the next day. Now, as you can see, I'm hot again. It's 90 something degrees in that room and I'm in a different outfit. Now I'm, it's another day and I'm in another one. So here I am working at hooking the shelves together. So I used two by fours that came from pallets for two of the legs and the other two legs was just a part of a two by four that I had that was um, a reclaimed piece of two by four. So I'm using uh, two drills, one drill with a drill bit for um, my um, to make the pilot holes and I use my other drill to drive the screws into it and this way I'm making I'm putting the bottom now I used two two by four pieces for the um the like the brace to hold the shelves up and so that's what those little blocks are that you see and that's actually what I'm screwing into um on these to add the shelves together. Okay, now to the information of this Power Up um, collab. It is, the host is Sarah from Cancer DIY and Zaina from OK at Home. Now we do have an Amazon um, gift card, so we will have a gift away and it's gonna be $25. And we are going to have each one of us uh, secret word and you'll need to go down 
to the description box and make sure that you comment on each one of our videos with our own secret word. Our secret word is all going to be different. So you're going to want to go down to the description box as well as their channel links and the playlist link will also be there. Now let's get back to this. As you can see, I am just working on this. I've got the uh, two shelves on it. I have one more shelf to go and then we will um, get this all finished. Now I do end up needing to move this down to the ground um, to do the, the last shelf because I am, I'm short. So I cannot reach that top one and I'm just, like I said, I'm just getting this all uh, connected together and then I end up um, having this nice set of shelves and I'll show you in the end a reveal shot and I hope you guys like it. So in this video, my secret word is a lathe and I've said it before, a lathe is a machine that I want really bad and I'll show you a picture. So here's an image of a lathe. So a lathe is a wood turner. So you can make spindles, you can make uh, all kinds of different things with the uh, lathe. Lathe, a lathe is actually my, I'm hoping for my next purchase for my woodworking area. And when I get it, boy, I'm gonna let everybody know. So let's get right back to this. So here I am still working on this. Um, I know this is in a uh, fast mode um, because I made this over a month ago and then I had to take it off of my system so I um, put it onto YouTube um, and kept it private and then I pulled it back off and now I'm editing it so that's what I am doing and like I said earlier please hit that subscribe button you'll help my channel grow so I can continue bringing content so that I can purchase more of my supplies because I will get paid more money than I'm getting paid now. It's not all about the money. I love doing what I do. I love sharing, but I also need income so that I can continue make, buying more supplies. So I'll let you watch this for a minute and then I'll show you the end result, the reveal. Okay, I am finishing up this part. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it so that I can finish doing the other part, the last shelf, and then I will show you the reveal. Now, I'd already used it, you know, made it, you know, I glued it and um, put it all one piece. So that's actually like one piece of wood, even though it's an L shape. And I'm doing Oops, I lost, I lost that footage. So this is it, it's done, it's in my bathroom. So don't forget to call somebody today and tell them you love them, it might be exactly what they need to hear. Also, you guys have the most blessed day and blessed week. And don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.